On today's episode, I'm gonna show you the real battery that you need. Stay tuned. All right, there's a lot of information out there on the internet. What battery do you need? Um, so today I'm gonna to share with you my experience with Watt Cycle and what is something that you need. Now, a lot of the YouTubers out there are always pushing kind of the bigger batteries here. Uh-uh, we need the smaller ones too. And let's get right into it right now so I don't waste any more of your time. All right, for the QRPers and all that kind of fun stuff and the travelers, you're gonna to wanna to go with something like this, an eight amp hour battery. All right, you guys, when you are traveling up and down the mountain or across town, all that kind of stuff, if you're mobile, which without a vehicle, just walking around, you want something lightweight and you don't need a lot of power. QRP, you know, five, 10 watts, big debate about that, but that is not, is not even needed for a QRP here, okay? Unless you wanna be out there for weeks and weeks and weeks and you could use all that. Stick with the small stuff, guys, all right? This is good. We got the eight amp hour batteries, put them both together, put them in uh, parallel, boom, you got yourself double the capacity, same voltage. That is the secret right there, wired up like that, right? You got yourself the 12 amp hour battery. Very, very good battery. This is gonna be the one that is allowed on planes. By my calculations and the power of the internet, you could take two of these on with you as a carry-on. Carry-on only. Tape the connectors on the top so they're not exposed, boom. You're through security and you got it. No guarantees, guys, check in with your local airline before quoting me, but I'd had success with taking two of these on with me. No problems at all, all right? So, next level, and we got this. Now, this is very, very, very much my favorite battery right now. Um, you see the top on top? I designed that with the 3D printer, all that kind of stuff. You guys could download it, I'll put a link below where you could actually print your own. What's inside of this one is two fuses, two power pole connectors, all the instructions are there. This is my POTA battery. Matter of fact, fits right into this case. Done, we got power. 20 amp hours is a good amount of power to take with you to, uh, you know, if you're gonna be do a little bit of pull to activations that'll last you quite a long time and if you guys want to know how long it will last check out my battery calculator below it gives you a rough idea what size of battery you need all right so if you're not hiking you're not traveling you can't travel with that 20 amp hour battery by the way you're trucking along probably your next go-to is this guy this guy by watt cycle is 100 amp hours it's a mini so it's smaller than other 100 amp hour batteries and it has Bluetooth so you can see it, what is going on. And because it's 100 amp hours, you don't need to use the small charger. This guy's a little guy, five amp hour battery or a charger. You could use this big smoking one, 20 amp hours or 20 amp charge. All right, 20 amps into this guy, we'll charge it really quick. All right, you can get yourself, uh, do calculations about five hours, you get a full charge and Wait for it, wait for it. This guy is absolutely RF friendly. You can charge with this charger, mark my words, you could charge it and play FH radio, HF radio, and it will not disturb your, your signal. Okay guys, it is a great charger and it works with any batteries that are life pool for. So guys, go ahead and get this charger. I have a lot of chargers and this is my go-to, okay? All right, so we got yourself the 100 amp hour battery. Move up to the 280. 280 is a great battery. It also has a 200 amp BMS, which means they don't want you to do this, but you can probably jumpstart your truck with this. Not allowed, but you can't, and you're not supposed to do it. But it's a huge battery. A lot of capacity you could charge it with a lot of amperage and oh, this one's not bluetooth but they do have a bluetooth one and uh, some of the products they don't have here they also have heated ones and a couple ones in between i'm just showing you the ones i have all right so this one you're not going to take with you most likely well 
it will fit on the on the floorboards of your truck and stuff it, and it's it's kind of heavy but it has some good straps all right so not bad and then finally finally is this big honking this thing is huge it has a metal case it has metal handles um I guess you can connect your crane to it because it weighs, I think, about 175 pounds. It is huge. Huge, huge, huge. 300 amp BMS, uh, 628 amp hours, has Bluetooth on it so you can monitor it. Solid. This is something that you're going to want to put in your shack and have as your backup battery or run off of it. I mean, it has huge terminals on the side, so you can see them right over there. Um, this guy is in my ham shack and it's my battery backup for, for my radio communications. Uh, it could run an inverter. It could run a lot of things, more than what these guys can do, right? This thing is a lot of backup. And the great thing about it is the big debate. Do you carry a bunch of solar equipment, like panels and, and converters or charge controllers and rely on that? Or do you just buy yourself one big giant honking battery and go away for a week on the at the campsite then you're set you don't have to worry about setting up solar panels so is it worth lugging this around or a bunch of panels around you guys decide about that that's I mean I would probably take this because we don't get a lot of sun here in Saskatchewan in the winter time so this is going to be something that gets thrown in the truck when I go camping I'll just take it away from my shack so there you guys go there's all the beautiful batteries from watt cycle right there all the links are below. You guys check them out. I am an avid supporter of them. They, they helped me out over the years, gave me all these gray batteries to test out. And they are one of the few manufacturers that make small batteries. So you guys remember that. When you're out there going to go play POTA, you got yourself a supplier of some great batteries. All right, guys. Well, thanks for joining me today. Please like and subscribe. You guys got some comments. We'll try getting back to you. And... You guys, see a hams on the bands. And if you're not a ham, you know what? What are you waiting for? Go get your license. 73s.